Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for our our, our second prayer slot um, of this afternoon. Um, this morning we um, looked at the passage in Ephesians, the call from Paul for unity within the church in Ephesus, but also the same calling is upon us today um, at Hope Paul Evangelical Church, the call for unity to encompass and to encapsulate Christ's command of us being one as he and the father are one so this morning we there was opportunities during the morning reflection that was sent out via email also on our social media uh, and the call was for confession now confession can seem like quite a an odd word quite a damning word or even a a, a word that um assumes sin in people's lives and albeit um these as uh, sin does exist in our life and we we fall short and we continue to fall short our response to falling short should be to approach god's throne of mercy and confession so i hope you enjoyed and spent some time this morning in prayer presenting um your request before our god who is holy so as we come to our to this time at 12 we look at psalm 100 which is a uh, praise and thanksgiving and it says this i shout for joy to the lord all the earth worship the lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs know that the lord is good it is he who made us and we are his we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Now this psalm beautifully, uh, beautifully captures the essence of praise and thanksgiving, it, it brings to light its importance. Not only that, it's, it brings to light who it is we are worshipping. We shout joy to the Lord. We shout joy to the Lord because we recognise that the Lord is sovereign in this earth and over this earth. He is sovereign over all of creations. And as we worship him and as we engage in worship, this passage is encourages us to do so with gladness and joyful songs. And it is with gladness that we come to God, knowing that the God of all mercy, the God of all peace, the God of all hope is, in fact, our God. That there is no separation between us and our Father. The Son has brought us in line and in light and in relationship with the father there's good news in the gospel today and the good news is that those who were far off has been brought near by the finished work of christ on the cross when we look at this passage this passage also encourages us it encourages us to enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. So as we come to this prayer time, it's important for us to come with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving that this morning, as we confessed our sins, as we confessed our unforgiveness and our brokenness, that the God of all hope and the God of all mercy has forgiven us. The good news of the gospel is that, that we can enter in and repentance and we can leave forgiven because of what the son has done for us so as we enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise let's give thanks and let's praise him let's praise him for he is good and his love endures forever that his faithfulness continues and as we pray at this time for our church pray for the leadership team of our church the adak and it and the elders pray for the our uh, church volunteers, those who uh, serve 
um, on teams, and also pray for the church fashion as we as we look at our fashion, which is to know Christ, to grow in Christ, and to share Christ with our local communities. Pray for our ministries as well, albeit that throughout this week there'll be opportunities to pray for our aspects of our church. It's important as well to thank God and to praise God for his hand that is at work in not only the, the work of the eldership and diaconate, but also in the volunteers. Whether that is those who volunteer on a Sunday morning or those who volunteer throughout the week. For our ministries, for God's hand to touch our ministries, to for God's um for for the gospel to be reached by those who attend the our hobby club, our uh, mums and tots groups, uh, our life groups and others. But also let's pray for unity and fellowship. That as we come together on Sunday mornings, may we come together in spirit and truth. May we come and as spirit and truth is united, may we be united with one another. So let's spend a few minutes in prayer. And may I encourage you, uh, if you're at home, please present your prayers before God. When this video finishes, that doesn't mean prayer stops. Please, throughout the day, for the next couple of hours, spend time in thanksgiving. And whether that is whatever you're doing today, whether you're at work, whether you're um, whether you're going shopping, whether you're at home, whatever your day looks like, feel free at any moment just to thank God for the things he has given us and to thank God for the areas of our church that he is touching. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we uh, come to you this morning, may we come, or this afternoon, may we come to you, Father, with hearts of thanksgiving and praise. May we enter your gates with thanksgiving and may we enter your courts with praise. We enter with thanksgiving, Father, because you have given us a lot to be thankful for. May we enter with praise because you deserve all the praise, Father. We thank you for your hand that is at work in Hope Paul Evangelical Church. We thank you, Father, for your work and your hand that is at work within the local churches as well. We thank you that you're not finished with Hope Paul. You're not finished with the local church. We thank you, Father, that you have a plan and you have a purpose for the local church in the area of Paisley and Renfrewshire. We pray, Father, and we lift up our church leaders to you at this time. We ask that, Father, may you give them wisdom and discernment. May you give the eldership courage as they shepherd your flock. May we ask that you strengthen their faith and guide their decisions and empower them to lead with humility and grace. We thank you, Father, for the new deacons that have been voted into our diaconate. We started with, uh, we had three, now we have six. So, Father, we thank you that you have blessed us. We thank you and we ask that may your hand be upon our diaconate at this time. May you lead them and may you comfort them and may you strengthen them, Father, to do the work of your kingdom at Hope Hall. We pray, Father, for our vision and how that looks within our local community and also within our church. We ask, Father, that and we thank you for the forget uh, the vision that you have given our church. We ask, Father, that may you help us continually align our hearts with your purposes and to pursue your kingdom with passion and perseverance. We ask that may you give us for the vision, Father, unity of spirit and a commitment to fulfill your calling within Hope Hall, but also within our local communities. We thank you, Father, for the work of our ministries at Hope Hall. We thank you, Father, for our hobby club. We thank you, Father, for the commitment and persevering of, perseverance of our leaders. We thank you, Father, for uh, what our hobby club is about, what its purpose is, Father, to bring those from our local community together to pursue creativity. And we thank you, Father, that there's not a standard of creativity, that all is welcome. We pray, Father, that may you work in the lives of those that attend. We pray, Father, and ask that may you, you touch their lives. You know the situations, all those who attend Hobby Club, 
and also the thoughts, Father, are facing. We thank you, Father, for your hand at work in the situations of those who um, attend our hobby club, Father. And we pray that may they come to know you and know your gospel of truth. We pray, Father, that thank you for our talks group. We thank you again, Father, for our leaders. We thank you, Father, for their countless faithfulness to see your kingdom come in those places. In those places, Father. I pray, Father, for uh, the, the families that attend. I pray, Father, that, that may they know the love of God through our leaders. May they know the love of Christ through our church, Father. We ask that may, as a church, we encompass the, and may we capture the, the love of Christ in our lives, Father. And may we mirror that of Christ. We pray, Father, for unity and fellowship. We pray that among our members and our body, both members and friends of Hope Paul, we ask that may you help us to love one another deeply and to bear one another's burdens. We ask that may we encourage one another in faith and fellowship. May our church be a, a sanctuary of hope, Father, a sanctuary of love and grace. Draw others into your family through the testimony of not only our unity, but by the testimony of the blood of Christ. We commit our church into your hands at this time. We thank you, Father, for how you have blessed us as a church and how you remain to bless us practically and financially and in other areas. Father, we thank you and we commit our church into your hands. Lord, trusting in your faithfulness and your provision. We thank you, Father. And we praise you that your name will be exalted in all we say and do as a church. We ask that may your kingdom come and your will be done in our midst. We thank you, Father, for all the things we have prayed for. We thank you, Father, for, for what you remain to do. You deserve all the praise, Father. You deserve all the glory. You deserve at all, Father. So may this afternoon, as we spend time in prayer, may we um, remain to pray in thanksgiving and giving you the praise. Now and forevermore. Amen.